Hi everybody, it's Kelly. I'm gonna see what I can do with this bottle. I really wanted this one because it's kind of got a blue tinge. It's from a wine from New Zealand. But I got these window clings back at Christmas. And obviously this, these ones are too big. I think I might try to get some boxes and put that on there for Christmas gifts, but I'm gonna try and put some of these um, snowflakes on it. I just tried one and I do have to mod podge them on because they don't stick good enough. They're not that clingy. Um, for this clear one, I'm going to try and put on some of these stickers. They appear to stick just fine, and then I'll mod podge over them. And already I went over them both with rubbing alcohol because that makes sure everything sticks good. I've got a little bit of the gloss mod podge in this little dish, so let's see where we want them to go. Great big ones will almost wrap all the way around. Maybe I'll try that big one on the top. See how it goes. And then I've got other types of Mod Podge, like a sparkly one and stuff. Maybe even like my extreme glitter one that I will put over the top of it to seal it. But for now, let's try right here. see if how it works. Bear with me for a minute to see if it'll go. I'll give lots of Mod Podge so we got plenty on here. It's good to have a little bit more than you actually need with Mod Podge. And you're not too short in one place. All right, let's try that. Get this big guy off here. Come on. There we go. Okay, and we'll stick it right on there. And then we will first smooth it down this way. I'm holding it with my left hand on one side and only smoothing one side at a time. Okay, I'll put my thumb in the middle and smooth this way. There. There's a bit of a slight wrinkle there. All right. There's one. Looks okay, and I'll put something on the other side. Let's see here. Maybe further down. more small ones. I think I'll put maybe one down here on this side. Down below on that one too, and that's not too crowded. Mm 
and then I'll mud podge over the top. Now these ones, well there's lots of other stickers. I might make cards or something or put them on tags or something like that, but I'm just gonna go with a few of the snowflakes. I think. And then we'll just stick right on there, I think. Yeah, like so, that looks okay. cute little deer on it too. He's kind of cute. We'll put him down on the bottom there. There we go. pretty good actually. What do you guys think? Fairly good coverage. I'll go over that with the smark sparkly mud podge and stick them down and see how it works. If it's a dismal failure I'll let you know because this is a total experiment. Now these ones are gonna have to wait. I've got this one I want to paint. I've, I, a green goes I guess. And you can always have loads of green bottles, but I've got all these little itty bitty snowflakes. And if I paint it a nice blue, I might be able to stick them on there. But I have to go and get more paint. And of course, none of the dollar stores have paint right now. Everyone's scunned out, so I'm gonna have to wait. So that is a possible plan down the road. Um, or I found these napkins way back when. And if I take the tree apart, I might be able to wrap it, because it's pretty wide. It will go around most of the bottle. And it would probably look good with the green too. I don't know, I have to try it and see. It might not show up, but that's another experimental possibility. Or I could always put this in another clear one. Um, one of my other bottle, clear bottles, again, I wanna try, I've got big snowmen and little snowmen. Decoupage those on, whatever fits the best. Basically, sorry, was it my head getting cut off? I can't put my phone in a funny position, I guess. That'll be another video. We'll see how that works. And for this bottle, although I noticed I forgot to take the top part off, it's sort of yellow. I think it was from Chardonnay. I'd like to get some napkins that have flowers on them. Like maybe sunflowers would be cool or something like that. That can be a springtime bottle. And I do have various types of, well, I think I have three plain, you know, the cork lights, got a battery in the top of the cork and you ram it down in there and it, then there's lights in the bottle. One of the ones I got at whichever dollar store, I don't remember, it's probably one of my hauls. For this one, 
the lights are actually snowflakes. So I'm considering this as part of my sister-in-law's Christmas present because she has a cabin that's in the caribou of BC and sometimes the power goes out so she could use her lights as a little extra light. And I have three of the other ones. They're just little plain little mini lights, I guess, like fairy lights, I guess you can call them, but they're not snowflakes. So I'm going to look around to when all the Christmas stuff comes back out and just see if I can get a few more that are maybe different that have that cork thing in them. Anyway, so I guess that's it for now. I'm going to um, carry on mod podging and see how this goes. Wish me luck. And um, if anything occurs that does not work, I'll let you know in due course. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, a couple of hours gone by now. It's no, yeah, about two and a half, almost. And the first layer is dry up. See, a little bit of sheen to it because I use the glossy Mod Podge. Now, just to make sure that nothing gets shifty, I'm using a pounce brush to do the second coat. And this is the sparkle type of Mod Podge, just to give it a little bit. Of, and I think eventually I'll probably get Maybe a silver sparkly ribbon and put it around the neck and tie a nice bow. If I can remember how to do that. I've got a video saved. I'll figure that out. But for now, we'll just go with this. And it looks like it's probably going to work. They seem to be relatively stuck on there. The uh, sticker ones didn't. The stickers were too stiff and they wouldn't bend on the round bottle. I'm sure they would decoupage well, though, if you had something flat, like top of a box or side of a box or something. I'll keep trying something else. I just want to see how this goes here. So just like so. The pounce brush gives it a little bit of a different effect too. It works better with paint. I find because that's how I did that yellow vase for Easter and then you don't have streaks so just spread it out I am gonna take the Mod Podge up not on the neck of the bottle but just about to the neck of the bottle and once this is totally dry I will probably put one more coat on just to make sure and then I'll probably go back to the brush because it doesn't really matter with Mod Podge if you get streaks because it just dries up anyway so it's not really the end of the world. I was just worried about potentially shifting those window clings because I've never done this before and I don't know if window clings are going to work but so far so good. I guess we'll see when it's all said and done but for now it seems to be working at least. See how that looks a little bit different with the pounce brush. A bit dobby, but it, it won't really show like that too much once it's dry. <clears throat> I don't think. It doesn't usually. I guess we'll find out. All right, well, I think that's going to work. I will keep on with it. And we'll see how it goes.